This is problem number 51 of the Stewart Calculus 8th edition, section 2.6. Find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of each curve. If you have a graphing device, check your work by graphing the curve and estimating the asymptotes. And the curve of the function is y equals x cubed minus x divided by the quantity x squared minus 6x plus 5. For our vertical asymptote, uh, we ask ourselves, uh, what is the denominator, or what values make the denominator uh, equal to zero? So we go ahead and try it out. x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals to zero. What is this? We go ahead and factor. Since it's a quadratic, we can factor into two binomials. Minus 5, minus 1. And this gives us x equals 5 and x equals 1. Before we can confirm whether these are vertical asymptotes, we also have to simplify the numerator in case either of these uh, x values are removable. At x equals 5 and at x equals 1, we know there's a discontinuity because they make the denominator, denominator 0. However, it's uh, possible that it is a removable discontinuity if the numerator uh, shares a factor. So if we simplify the numerator, we'll get x times x squared minus 1. In the denominator, we still have x minus 5 times x minus 1. And simplify a little further. This is a difference of squares. x squared minus 1 is x minus 1, x plus 1. And the denominator remains the same. And we see that x equal to 1 is actually the removable discontinuity since the x minus 1 term cancels. Therefore, for the sake of this problem, there is only one vertical asymptote vertical asymptote, and that is at, the only vertical asymptote is at x equals 5. And this is the equation of that asymptote, x equals 5. x equals 1 is removable. It'll just be a hole in the function. It will not be a vertical asymptote. Uh, for horizontal asymptotes, we take the function and we ask ourselves, what is the limit as x approaches infinity? <clears throat> and the function is x cubed minus x divided by x squared minus 6x plus 5. One step we can take is to uh, divide each term by x squared. Let's go ahead and try that. x cubed over x squared is x minus x over x squared is 1 over x. The denominator we have x squared over x squared, which is 1. 6x over x squared, which is 6 over x. And then 5 over x squared is the last term. As we approach infinity, each of these terms, 1 over x, 6 over x, and 5 over x squared go to 0. And we see that the limit diverges towards infinity since the remaining parts are x over 1. And x going towards infinity means this limit does not exist. It diverges towards infinity. And this confirms that we indeed do not have a horizontal asymptote for this function. Uh, we can also check negative infinity. The limit as x approaches negative infinity, and we get the uh, same result, except the limit diverges to negative infinity. Therefore, um, we conclude the function has no horizontal asymptote, um, but earlier we did find one vertical asymptote at x equals 5, and we can use a graphing tool and plot the function, and here we can see clearly there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 5, but there is no horizontal asymptote. Um, and this is in agreement with our work for this problem.